Wait, what if I told you the Earth gets hit with over 173,000 terawatts of solar energy every single second? That's 10,000 times more than what the entire world uses. And yet, we're still burning stuff to power our homes. Seriously, why aren't we already using just the sun? Let's crack the science behind solar panels and explore whether a solar-powered Earth is really possible. Solar panels are made of photovoltaic cells, which convert sunlight into electricity using one of the most abundant elements on Earth, silicon. This isn't just beach sand we're talking about. It's crystalline, semi-conducting silicon, precisely engineered for a very clever purpose. Each silicon atom is bonded tightly to four neighbors, locking its electrons in place. But here comes the twist. We use two layers of silicon. One layer is N-type, with extra electrons, and the other is P-type, with extra holes. Where they meet, that's the PN junction. A tiny electric field forms there, like a one-way gate. Now imagine. A photon, a particle of light from the sun, hits the cell. If it has enough energy, it knocks an electron loose. Boom. Now you've got a free electron and a hole. And that internal electric field shoves them apart. Electrons go one way, holes go the other. Electrons are collected by metal fingers on the top, then pushed into an external circuit. They do useful work, like powering your phone or lighting a bulb, then cycle back into the cell through a metal plate on the back. And here's the genius part. Electrons are the only moving parts. <laughs> no gears, no noise, nothing to wear out. Just light in, power out. Each solar cell gives only about 0.5 volts. So we connect multiple cells into modules to boost. A dozen can charge a phone. Hundreds can power a home. Millions, that could change the world. But why haven't we done it yet? There are a few brutal challenges. Sunlight isn't evenly spread across the globe. Some places get less sun. It's inconsistent. Cloudy days, nighttime, no sun, no power. Energy storage is tough. We need batteries or grids to store and share electricity. Efficiency is still limited. The best commercial panels convert just 15 to 20% of sunlight. The lab record, about 46%. Reflective losses, electron hole recombination, photons get wasted. Still, we can absolutely improve. Solar is getting better, cheaper, faster. Let's get real. Powering the entire Earth with solar is possible, even today. We'd need huge investment and space. Estimates say tens to hundreds of thousands of square miles but the Sahara Desert alone is over 3 million square miles. We already have the space. Meanwhile, over a billion people still don't have reliable electricity. For them, solar is already cheaper and safer than burning kerosene. So the real question isn't, can we do it? It's, why aren't we doing it faster? Here's a thought to chew on. If our planet is literally bathed in energy every second, why are we still acting like power is scarce? What's truly stopping us, physics or politics? Comment your thoughts below, because the future of energy might just depend on them.